Hello local businesses in Tenerife, it's uh, Wolfgang Bloomfield here from uh, first page of Google. I just have to change this slightly. Now I'm here today to, to show you how Google Places are working in Tenerife and the truth is they're not working brilliantly but at least they're working and it's going to get better. Uh, Google started this work uh, with favouring local businesses back in October 2010 and they started with mainly the English speaking countries but now they've moved on to Spain so there we are but not all not all the niches come up on here and the reason is a lot of businesses you can see here uh, out in Italian restaurants Tenerife and I'll show you the results in a minute but you can see here there's a lot of little spots here red spots and what these are these are businesses that have not even claimed their listing so Google hasn't got much information to work on, only the companies that are listed. Um, well anyway, this is the results I've got. So this is for Italian restaurants. We've got three paid for ads above the Google results. So it shows you that uh, people are prepared to pay to get on this page. Um, and the best position to get is this one if we can do it. It's, it's the number A position, it's the highest one and that's the one that most people click on. But having said that, on this occasion we've got two here that have got stars against it. So I would think that a lot of people would click on this one, it's got five stars. So let's have a look at their place page. Takes a little time. Now what I want to show you here is you can see it's an owner of it, verified listing so he knows it's there but it's not a difficult one to beat. What I want to show you here is that if we click on directions Google will actually show you how to find this restaurant and uh, it's at CC Sun Beach 21 Player de Fanny Bay so it's showing you there now it says what's my location well what shall we say let's say uh, Jack Aranda Hotel Jack uh, Aranda Hotel and Resort there we go now we'll click get di directions and it will show us how to get there a little bit of look and there we are so that's Jacaranda, so it shows you how to find that restaurant. So, anyway, I hope you found that interesting, but let's now go back because I want to show you something else. Go back again, and back again. Now what I want to show you is that there is only seven places on the first page of Google. That's all there is. If we go to the second page, which I'll show you now, you see there is no Google Places. So it's very, very important that you must get your listing very well optimized to make sure it comes up on that first page. And it shouldn't be too difficult. I've looked at all these in here, uh, but they're only restaurants. It depends what particular thing you're in. Now, I want to show you one other thing. I'm just going to copy in copy this and you'll see why in a minute if I was in England and I was looking for an Italian restaurant in Tenerife I would probably type in Italian restaurant Tenerife which I have so let's have a look and see what comes up and you'll find we've got exactly except there's more paid for ads here there's one two three four five well, it's not. They're not paid for ads. Actually, there uh, is what it is called. On this occasion, it's called a merged listing. Um, but you see, we've got exactly the same results as we had in Tenerife. Now, you might say, "Well, that's fine in England." What if I was in Germany? Let me show you. Type exactly the same thing in, and you see. We get exactly the same results in Germany and it will work in Russia it will work in any country in the world so I hope you can see the value of this thanks for watching the video 
If you liked it, please click the like button, leave me a comment even, that would be nice. Um, if you didn't, don't no, don't click the not, not like button. Uh, but you can also subscribe to it just by clicking there above the video. That's if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you for taking the time to watch it.